So a little bit about us, Ted Lang and Molly B. I we would be the Ted Lang version par, portion of that equation. And, <laughs> and I'd be Molly B. Yes. We are husband and wife, um, currently from uh, Wisconsin, actually. That's right. I was born in Iowa and raised in Minnesota um, in a German Czech family. And Ted was raised out here in Ohio. We met about 20 years ago. We started performing together uh, 15 and a half years ago and have released some CDs. And just so you know, every full-length CD has at least one song sung in the Czech language. That's right. Every it one is. of them. Yes. So we're doing our best to always represent our Czech friends out there. You know, being a little Czech, I have to always sing something. Yes, Czech and Slovak and, and all of those uh, European, uh, all in that Eastern European region, we play a lot of that style music. Uh, this is actually what we do for a living. We perform over 100 engagements a year in uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 different states a year. We All the way, we've played out in California. We've played in Massachusetts, Vermont, down south, Texas, Florida, and just about everywhere in between. So uh, if you're looking for details about where to find us, if you want to come and check out some of this 
uh, I, I kind of consider it America's original party music because it was brought over by all these immigrants from Europe. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the Americans, we kind of Americanized a lot of these songs. And you had yes. people like Frankie Yankovic, uh, who, uh, you know, grew up in this strong ethnic heritage. They spoke Slovenian at home. And uh, his big hit, you know, the uh, uh, Just Because. And the Blue Skirt Waltz, blue skirt which waltz. originally was a Czech number. Actually, yeah, a little... Uh, yeah. We'll get to that in a little yes, bit. But will. anyway, so okay. this is what we do for a living. We uh, specialize in music that is uh, of an ethnic origin. And so uh, we're happy to present uh, a wide variety of songs that are from that older tradition. Uh, these are songs that have been performed by bands uh, in the U.S. since the 1920s and 30s, some of them, as a matter of fact, and are still being performed today by many of them as well. Yes. Okay, so we're their entertainments. We're going to give them some more polkas. What do you say, Ted? I say that's a great idea. We're going to do a. We're going to send some songs out. We're going to do this next one, especially for Bob Bina, who is uh, from Inner Grove Heights, Minnesota. Inver Grove Heights. Is oh, I'm sorry, Inver. Yes, it is Inver Grove Heights. I grew up in a Minnesota, so. So you know. So I do. And we'll also do this next one, especially for Penny Pasek, I believe is how you pronounce it. From, from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Which is the state where you were born. Yes. Is there anybody you aren't connected to? On I'm this connected thing? to all of them. Oh. No. <laughs> well, here we go with the polka. It's one called the Pretty Dancing Girl Polka, also known as Arise My Darling. Here we go with a little Czech vocal for you. Here. Oh, listen uh -huh. to you. 
And that's why we've been married that. for 10 years. <laughs> so he's got to say that he's my husband. <laughs> okay. Well, and it's on camera. <laughs> yes. We are going to play a song on the button box right now. It's a song we did record on one of our recordings, Squeeze Box by Request. But I purposely hung up this shirt on my button box mic. Oh, would you look at that? Because I think it's really cool. Because, did you know, the polka began in Bohemia. So therefore, polka established 1834. And it's even red, because if you notice, all the flags have red. So it just, it goes so well. Anyway, I thought you kind, might all like that, claiming that 1834, and we all know it started in Bohemia. So that way, when you're watching Jeopardy and they come up with that question, you will know the correct answer. All because you heard it from Molly B. Of course, we do have those shirts as well of as well as all of our CDs available on our website by visiting mollyb.com. That's M-O-L-L-I-E and the letter B.com. Uh, we hope you'll check it out. Check out our schedule. We'd love to see you somewhere down the road. And let us know that you saw us here on uh, this program. That's right. Okay, it's going to be polka time with the Barushka Polka. Like I said, we recorded that on a CD called Squeeze Box by Request. And we're going to send this song out to Anita. Anita from, you know what? I've never heard of this city. And I'm... I'm Cincinnati, Wisconsin. Yes. I got to look that one up on the map. Anita Schmiesek. All right. So if Anita hears the Barushka Polka. Better known as the Barbara Polka. button box there for you. That's one called the Barbara Polka. Now, the button box is one of about uh, 15 different instruments that she plays. Uh, so she plays the piano, the trumpet, the uh, saxophone, alto, tenor sax, uh, the button accordion. She plays the trombone, slide trombone, clarinet, um, baritone, alpine horn. That's the great big recola horn. She'll do yeah. that every now and then. Yes, but this show I'm playing four. Just keeping it simple. Four the and the vocals. Method. 
Yes. Okay. Okay, so we mentioned earlier about the blue skirt waltz is made popular by Frankie Yankovic, but he had it written, rewritten as a blue skirt waltz, or it originally was the red skirt waltz had Czech lyrics, and uh, I believe it came from right from Bohemia. And so he converted this to, a, as Motley mentioned, English lyric song. It was released. It became a million seller for him, and then some. Here's yeah. the ever popular Blue Skirt Waltz. Till I heard an orchestra play I met you where the lights were bright And the people were carefree and gay You were the beautiful lady in blue And I was in heaven just waltzing with you You filled me with strange some of you that might have been the first time you got up and were dancing so yes. Just trying welcome, to ease you into it welcome to the dance floor whether that's <laughs> at home or i'm not exactly sure how you're congregating this week this time if you're at all together or not but nonetheless you should be dancing even if it's with, with your fingers your toes and tapping your toes is considered mm -hmm. tap dancing really oh wow ted i just made that up i know so and when i say oh my husband really doesn't dance and then he's like no, no. i do the tap dance tap dancing actually ted's a very good dancer i shouldn't should not i just don't want to flaunt it very often oh, that, so that's yes. why i don't dance that's as much true. as you would like that's true <laughs> all right well we're gonna play a polka here it's a song i recorded with the jim booster band that's my dad's band now out of wisconsin Grew up playing Czech and German music. And then Ted and I recorded this song as well. A few recordings back. Once again, those would be on mollyb.com. So this song is called The Young Widow Polka. We're going to send this one out especially for Margaret Nasta in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. So especially for Margaret, here's one called The Young Widow Polka. Here we go.
Widow Polka. So a you mentioned fan favorite. Uh, yes, Ted. yes. You mentioned your uh, dad's band, the Jim Booster Band. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that. So the Jim Booster Band is 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 comprised of how many members? I mean, like how many guys are typically or gals are on stage typically at a gig, and what is the instrumentation? Five to six. Okay. And the instrumentation, there's always a always a drummer, and always my dad on concertina. So those who are very very consistent. And then uh, usually a tuba player who also plays an electric bass guitar. Uh, and then um, currently he has a second concertina player by the name of Carl Hartwick, very good concertina player. And then myself when I play with the band. And then he's got other musicians that may play anything from banjo, piano, trumpet, trombone, saxophone, clarinet. So it's always... Two, I should say always, but usually two horns with his band. So you have the horn section, and uh, they will play the lead, and then a lot of times in the concertina or if there's an accordion in the band. And traditionally you would hear this, what they call Dutchman-style music. Yes. And uh, that is usually with a tuba. Yes. Usually with a, a, a concertina and, and multiple horns. Well, concertina in Minnesota, Ted. Yes. But if you think of the Nebraska bands, those are Dutchman-style bands, and they usually have an accordion. Or a button accordion. Or a button accordion. If yes. you go down to Texas, those Dutchman-style bands usually have a piano accordion. Mm, yeah. I yes. Yeah, right. So it really is a Minnesota thing, and that's partially because of the Hengel concertinas from Minnesota. So Now, as you travel around the country, uh, you know, we talk about all these different ethnic backgrounds. Well, each ethnic background also has their own instrumentation in their different styles. So when you hear, like, for example, a Polish-style band is going to sound very different than what we would consider a Dutchman-style band. And Dutchman and Czech seem to be kind of a little more closely related. Yes, well, Dutchman music is... Um, ger uh, Czech music with a German influence. And some people say it's German music with a Czech influence. Um, usually the first one's stronger. And the, the word, the Dutchman comes from because people actually didn't know um, that they were saying Deutsch for German. Um, so yeah, so Dutchman started, has actually nothing to do with our friends over in Holland <laughs> or anything <laughs> like that. We always- You aren't like, wearing the wooden shoes? No, and it's funny people play, well, are you going to play that Dutch music? And I'm like, well, we're going to play German and Czech music, but yes. <laughs> and so then with the Slovaks, uh, you know, a lot of the Slovenian, Slovakian, uh, those will have different instrumentation even than the Dutchman and Czech style bands where it will be an accordion. A lot of times saxophone seems to be prevalent in those genres, uh, drummer, bass player, that kind of thing. Yeah. So just wanted to point out some of the differences because we might be your first exposure to some of this uh, American-influenced ethnic music that came from Europe. So just wanted to try to give you a little bit of background about some of the bands and, and uh, the instrumentation and that kind of thing. All right, so now we're going to play a song which most people don't realize actually has its roots in the Czech Republic. It's a very, very popular song known as the Beer Barrel Polka, or some people like to call it Roll Out the Barrel. And then some people like go, no, no, the Germans started this. It's Rosamunda. And no, before the Germans, it was a Czech. So the Czechs, some, a man wrote it in the Czech Republic. Then the Germans grabbed onto it. Then it came to the States. And everyone has different lyrics that have nothing to do with the previous language, which is really interesting. How about that? Yes. So we're going to play the Beer Barrel Polka. Especially for Margaret, I'm sorry, Mary Kinsey, who is watching in Jacksonville, Florida. Hello to Mary in Florida. All right, so here we go. It is time for Rosa Munda, also known as the Beer Barrel Polka. Roll out the barrel. Now we expect you all to sing along. All right, here we go.
singing along with that one. That's right, because that's kind of a poker standard. You kind of have to know that one if you're going to head around to some of these poker dances. This is true. It's or certainly Oktoberfest time. That's yes. when you hear it the most. Yes, we get so many requests for that one, so we had to slip it in, especially with those Czech roots in that song. So, Well, speaking of Czech, yes, we're going to do a polka right now with a Czech vocal. It's one called the Around and Around Polka. Yeah. We recorded this one on Molly, not Molly B. Um, it's, you can find it on mollyb.com, but the CD's called Squeeze Me. So our very first recording, we recorded this song. Oh, thanks, Ted. You're welcome. <laughs> he likes to squeeze my <laughs> shoulder, I guess. So here we go, round and around, especially for Mike from Wallbridge, Ohio. Oh, Mike. Just down the road. It's about an yes. hour from where we're recording this right now. Mike. I wish you could been here when we were recording it, but unfortunately, it's late at night as we're recording this <laughs> for you, so it didn't quite work out. But um, hope to meet you someday, since you're an Ohioan and all. Here we go, around and around. when I was playing. All right. So there's a certain song that we play, and I swear all our Nebraska friends say, this is a Czech national anthem. That's what they, they affectionately get refer excited. to it as. excited. And then, I don't know if you know about this, but I'm Molly B. from the Molly B. Polka Party. What? I know. I know. And <laughs> it's a show that airs on national TV and still airing yet today. And when we, perf when we recorded down in Ennis, Texas... I might say this was the most popular song, or definitely right up there. Right up there Every the band the knows the Praha Polka. So we're going to feature Ted just like we did on our second recording, Freshly Squeezed, from onmollyb.com. And he is <laughs> Shameless going... Shameless plug right there for you. <laughs> He's going to sing the Praha Polka for you. Do this for uh, Daniel Tarek from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's the Praha Polka. Praha, 
Yes, and in Texas, when we play down there, they call it the Shiner song, depending on where you are. They do. They do. Because that song is about leaving Prague. And, uh, but yeah, the Shiner song is, well, it's a little different when they put the English words in there. It's a lot of these songs are. Uh, what I found through the years with a lot of the bands that I've played with, and we sing a lot of these foreign language songs, and, and frankly, we are proficient in almost English. <laughs> And uh, so we do our best to try to uh, learn from those who uh, speak the languages. And what we come to find out is the translations sometimes are sometimes dated yeah. or um, they don't make sense in today's vernacular the way that they did way back when they were written. And a lot of these are traditional folk songs that have been passed down from generation to generation and then eventually recorded, you know, back in the, 19, in the early 1900s and copywritten and that type of thing. So not only is a translation kind of funny and goofy at times, when they sing them in English, they often get really twisted, so it completely loses its original meaning. Yeah, and they're not trying to mess it up. I think they're no. just trying to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make some sense, have some <laughs> rhyming words go in there. Have some fun. Yeah. That's what this is all about anyways. Yes. Okay, it's time to play Green is Green Polka. We're going to send this song out to Janet Jeffries from Crete, Nebraska. So especially for her, here's Green is Green.
Well, not only do we play polkas and you've heard us do waltzes, we actually do play a lot of other music as well. And uh, we invite you to check out, we have our own YouTube channel, and we've got hundreds and hundreds of videos up there. So you want to make sure you check that out in your spare time. Uh, very simple. Go to YouTube.com forward slash, or maybe it's this way, depending on which way you're Don't looking worry, at Don't worry, Ted, it's on the oh, screen. Oh, it's on the screen, forward yep. slash Molly B, and then that way you can... Uh, Check out all of our videos where we do a wide variety of music, um, everything from swing and country and rock and some jazz and, and just a mix of all kinds of things. But we're sticking with the uh, traditional ethnic stuff that we both grew up on and both love. Yeah, so we hope you are enjoying that because every song we're playing tonight so far, I believe, except our opener, has, um, has roots in, um, in, in the Czech Republic or... Uh, Slovakia or Moravia. Yes. So we hope you are enjoying that. Now this next song we learned from our Texas Czech friends and we're excited to sing it for you um, featuring Ted on the vocal. Oh really? Yeah. We're going to skip over that waltz? Oh he wants to do a waltz first. Okay so we're going to do the waltz yes. first. Loka Zelena, the Green Meadows Waltz. <laughs> Jelena Waltz. Yes, now very pretty, Molly. Well, thank you, Ted. Thank you. Now we're gonna feature Ted on a vocal that we learned from our Texas Czech friends. We actually traveled to Europe and did a Medi Mediterranean cruise uh, with a Texas Czech band. And yeah. in addition to the Mediterranean cruise, we traveled to. We covered a lot of ground. We yeah. actually flew over there. We rented a car. We were what we flew. No way. Yes. And boy, were our arms tired. 
And we got over there, and uh, we rented a vehicle, and we used our phones, and we were able to book all of our hotel rooms and kind of make all of our accommodations, and we traveled all over. We were in the Czech Republic. We were in Germany, Austria, Slovenia. Um, England. England. We were on planes, trains, automobiles. Italy, France. Yes. And Spain. All, all of what she said. It's all true. Yes. Had a great time. Had an absolutely wonderful time over there. And uh, so if you ever have the chance, we uh, hope that you'll do that. And I understand with a lot of the genealogy things that happen uh, with this great organization that uh, maybe it'll find you traveling over there and enjoying it sometime. Yeah, I hope you all can if you have not been there yet. So this song is a song that the band, that the uh, company that we, that we traveled with, uh, comprised of a band leader and, and his wife, uh, this is kind of a big hit for him. His name is Alfred Vragel, and he's been a radio DJ for, I believe, I don't know, maybe 50 years in Texas. Uh, he's a member of the International Polka Hall of Fame, and this has become kind of one of his signature songs. We're going to perform it for you today. It's one called If I Was a Bird Polka. I was a bird polka. All right. Well, we learned a couple new songs for you all today. So, and this is a medley of some of those new songs. And uh, we hope you like them. We hope we do them justice for you. And we're going to call it the uh, Slovak Polka Medley. We're doing this one special for Mike Prohaska from Huxley, Iowa. Hello, Mike. You know, what we should have done was Nas Mache. We should have played our mic. Oh, we should have. We yeah, still can. Right. Well, maybe later. Okay. But right now, it's time for our Slovak polka medley. It goes like this.
that's our little Slovak polka medley for y'all. We hope you enjoyed that one. Something new for us, that's Very for sure. Very new, yes. You know, it's interesting. Part of this is the this um, music from the Eastern European regions and countries. Let them cross over. Because as we were playing this, Ted's like, wait. I know, I know that song. Because he played with Polish-style polka bands for several years, still does fill in with them. So he knows a lot of Polish lyrics to these um, Slovak songs we're playing. Yes. Uh, Lancers came, Roż Maria. Very, very similar. And could possibly have the same meaning. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. They didn't get mixed up when they came across the ocean. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to... Oh, we're going to play something else right now. Oh, yeah? Yes. What are we going to play, I mean, play, we're going to play a song that's, that doesn't have the roots like the rest of this music So a does. good old-fashioned American-made polka? Yeah! As American as apples, peaches, and pumpkin pie? Yes! That's and it, Chevrolet? Ted. Oh, wait, and no, that's Chevrolet. a commercial. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we we're going to send this song out to Pat Slaber from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here's Apples, Peaches, Pumpkin Pie.
there's some of those old standards that uh, we get requested all the time. All the time. That's for sure. Yes. Well, we hope you enjoy them. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie, Pennsylvania polka, and... In heaven, oh, heaven there, there is, there is no, no people. Beer. Yes. There might be. Who knows, right? We can hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna slow it down to a waltz, and this is a song uh, recorded both with my dad's band, the Jim Busta Band, as well as with Squeezebox. Again, if you want to check those out, they're on MollyB.com. This is one called "At the Spring Waltz." Now, when I was a little girl, this is probably the first uh, check number I learned to sing. And I, always, I sang it the way my relatives did. So um, some people say, oh, that's kind of funny how you pronounce that. And I thought, well, that's the way they did it. And so I'm sticking to it because my relatives all did it that way. So here's At the Spring Waltz. You're waltzing once again. Swinging and swaying back and forth to the music. Yes. Enjoying yourselves. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to do another Slovak polka, aren't we, Ted? Yes, we are. Because okay. you said we are. Yes. And uh, like I said, these are new songs for us. We're glad we could learn them for you. We're going to send this next song to uh, Mary Jane Sheridan from Commerce City, Colorado. So I played out there before at the Edelweiss Club. I'm not sure if you've ever been there, but I was there a few years back. Ever played in Commerce City, Ted? I don't know if I played in Commerce City, but I know I played in Colorado. Okay. With you. This is true. I had to <laughs> Did think you about forget? This. Yes. <laughs> Colorado Springs. 
And then... And the Kickers Club. Yes. In Denver. Golden. Golden. Golden Denver. Yes. I mean, Golden... Oh <laughs> Golden, Colorado. Okay, so especially for Mary Jane... Oh, I said we're going to Slovak number. Yes, so that's it's coming up next. song yes especially now, I for believe, a friend from colorado if i'm not mistaken that is a chardash so what you would ordinarily hear is on a chardash it'll start kind of slow and the tempo will pick up until at the end the accordion player is just tripping all over himself and i wanted to spare you of that i was gonna say you weren't really tripping uh, any faster i may have been <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh, Alrighty. Okay, so we're now going to play a song that, once again, we learned from our Texas Czech friends. And there's a little part for you in there. We go, whoo, whoo, whoo. Don't ask me why. We just do it. And when we do that dances, everyone does that with us. And my funny story about this is we perform up in Minot, North Dakota at the Hust Fest. And that's a uh, Scandinavian festival. And uh, when we perform there, we, we, si we sing this song in the Czech language. And I get everyone doing this. Well, we perform it on the, you know, by the second or third day, this man comes out to me and he goes, oh, my goodness, we just love that. And my wife and I, now when we're, we're, when we're at the Hust Fest, we can't find each other. We just go, whoo, whoo, whoo. And then they know, like, where to find their, their, their spouse right there. Yeah. We've never done that before. No, because I, you would not like me doing that. <laughs> You're right. Probably not. <laughs> but it's <laughs> really fun Alex. in this song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is our version of Aya Sam, which can be found on Squeezebox by request on mollyb.com. Here we go.
yourself. Yes. All right. So, Ted, I want to switch the order again. That's okay with you. Yes, ma'am. We had a request to do a song. Once again, we learned from our Texas Czech friends, and it's um, a, a beautiful waltz. It's called Moon Over Moravia. And um, it's not talking about, like, Moravia over in Europe. It's actually talking about a little town named Moravia after Moravia in Europe. And there's a little, there's a little tavern there. Ted's been to Moravia. So it's a pretty song. A lot of our Texas friends know this one. So we're going to feature Ted at this time on Moon Over Moravia. was not written that long ago, sometime in the last 20 years. That's probably the newest song we're going to play this that, evening, that right? Very, I believe so. Yeah. Well, folks, we really hope that you enjoyed your time with us and uh, hope we uh, maybe made you tap your toes a little bit, maybe clap your hands, maybe roll back the carpet a little bit and uh, dance around. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, thank you for this wonderful opportunity to uh, provide some entertainment and a little bit of insight and background into uh, how we're trying to carry the tradition of ethnic music forward uh, through its Americanization and uh, as it gets spread out to uh, all these different uh, nationalities that are out there now yes. all over the country. Yeah, so, but before we end, Ted, I have a little story I want to share with you. Okay. Uh, so there happens to be a man very popular and very well-known in Hollywood by the name of Clint Eastwood. Who? I know, Clint Eastwood. Well, Clint's girlfriend um, has, has checked a scent. And so when they were watching um, RFD TV, along comes a Molly B. polka party, and 
They're loving it to a point where supposedly they watch every Saturday night. They're watching polka music. They're listening to Czech music, Polish, German, and uh, loving it so much that they invited us to be a part of a movie and play a polka in that. So the movie is called The Mule. came out in 2018, and it's all because Clint Eastwood likes polka music. He's a Molly B fan. Yeah. And hopefully after this hour, you are as well. Yes, we sure hope you are. And please come up to us when you're at a live performance. Say, hey, we heard you at the SG, so I said it wrong, CGSI yes. concert. Not to be confused with CSI. No, don't get or that confused. Or NCIS. I know. Or any of the others. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for joining us. For more information about us, uh, visit our website, uh, www.mollyb.com. Again, a reminder to visit our YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos, uh, youtube.com forward slash Molly B. All right, we're going to finish with a little polka for you. We're going to do a little quest for you folks right now as yes. we wind things down. I'm going to send this out to Susan Wardell from Kirkland, Washington. Here's Ted on a number we recorded on freshly squeezed CD, one called the Corn Cockle Polka.
little polka medley to take you all home once again. Thank you so very much for allowing us to be a part of your uh, festivities. Thank you, everyone. Take care and God bless. <laughs>